Well, good morning, church family. Thanks for joining me for an unusual uh, midweek Bible study time. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, we're taking a trip together to New York uh, this week. Word of Life Pines, uh, Word of Life Campground, formerly so. And I'm sitting here with Ethan, as you see, and uh, we've really been privileged. Ethan's invited Teresa and I out to visit, and we've been here for a couple of days, going home this afternoon. But boy, I'll tell you, it's been a refreshing time uh, for us. Uh, it's been it's been a tiring time for Ethan, hasn't it, Ethan? <laughs> yeah, it has been. Um, it has been a really full season. We, you know, we're just finishing our uh, our nine week camping season here at the Pines, and I know not all of you have been uh, involved with Word of Life to the extent that that Allie and I um, are, but we are coming just come finishing our nine week camp season, and um, the Lord has definitely bless the ministry here at Word of Life, especially at the Pines. Um, I think it'll always be the family campground to those of us who have uh, grown up coming here. Um, but we're really excited what the Lord is doing. He, we've seen, we've seen God provide in really miraculous ways. Um, with you know, the, uh, one one thing that comes to mind is we're raising money this this summer for a project um, to add fun to to the camp experience for our guests and. Um, over the course of the nine week season, we've seen the Lord bless the ministry with, I think as of this morning, it was $146,000 oh, with uh, <laughs> money that the Lord's people have said, we want to bless the ministry. We want this place to be a, a place where, where families can come and grow closer to each other and go grow closer to God throughout the week. Um, and throughout the, the ministry that they get to be a part of. And, um, we were, we were just sitting here before we started this video, um, talking about how the Lord has um, given us, given Allie and I, kind of a first-hand um, avenue to be able to be involved with uh, the work of the Lord and being involved with camp ministry. And, you know, that's, for those of you who know me and uh, our family, camp ministry has been such an outlet and such a, an, a way for us to be encouraged in our walk with the Lord. Um, and a verse that you know, we were just, we were just talking about, about this before mm -hmm. Galatians 6 9 says that um, uh, let us not grow weary of well doing because at just the right time this is the uh, the Morin uh, recap but at just the right time you will re reap a harvest um, and we we have certainly seen the fruit of the ministry here um, at Word of Life especially at the campgrounds um, and that's a verse that really I've been, as I've been interacting with our staff, which we have a great staff of high schoolers and uh, retired people who have come and volunteered all summer long. And, um, oh, where are you, Ethan? You guys have been here all summer, nine weeks. Yeah. Doesn't sound too long for us. Right. But, but it, believe me, it is long. It's a long time. <laughs> and we, we're, um, that, so that's a verse that. There's a tendency to grow weary and get discouraged. Yeah. And yep. get tired of the work. Right? Yeah. And that, that's a verse that we've kind of clung to, a, a verse that I remind our staff of, you know, th don't grow weary of, of doing what the Lord has called you to this summer. Because a, a lot of our staff this summer is not, um, they, they didn't grow up here. You know, they heard about Word of Life. They said, oh, the pine sounds like fun. Um, and they jumped in and they're cleaning toilets and they're uh, mowing the lawn and killing bees in the cabin. Killing so bees. Us. Yeah, it's been um they've just been serving the lord with their heart their whole hearts how many young people would you have or adults on staff here at this facility yeah so we have we have about 74 high school and college age students some about half of them are students at the bible institute where um, both ally and i went um as our first college experience graduation tomorrow for yep yep this Gra year's graduation is this this weekend and we um we're yeah, so we're about just about 74, 75 staff, um, and then on top of that, we have about 30, 30 ish um, volunteers who are old, like uh, older uh, that 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 get to be involved in the ministry as well. So they're the ones that do a good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as you've seen that, I mean, I've, this little boy of theirs. Wait till you see him at home again. Caden is just an absolute delight. He loves people. And uh, I remember Paul and Vicky when they had their kids, they wanted portable kids. Well, they've got a friendly kid, and he, he's loved on by the guys here and the gals that work here, and, and it gives them all a good sense. And 
Allie uh, certainly enjoys ministering with the girls. I get the chance to go across the street to the children's camp, the ranch, yep. and their house is spot on in the middle of that facility. So they, they go home, they don't get away from it. They're right on Main Street, or yep. is that? Yep, yep, <laughs> right on the Main Street of the ranch. They so. live right across in the local jail uh, <laughs> on the ranch. So uh, yep. that and the rodeo ring. That's right. Uh, so, uh, but they're right plugged into the ministry. They, they in a little bit, being like a pastor in a sense, you, you, your ministry is your home. And that's certainly the way it has been for them. Uh, so you really, you've been mindful, faithful during the summer. And again, every year the Lord seems to be opening up a little different avenue yeah. through the school year for you. Yeah. Right? What do you see after this week goes by? You guys get a couple of weeks to get some wind back in yeah. your... Yeah, we, we kind of closed down camp and then about, uh, well, really once camp is over, it's about nine or 10 days. And then our first round of students um, start coming back to the Bible Institute. And this year, for the past two years, I should say, I've been involved with the sports team. So using sports uh, as a way to minister to unsaved people that love basketball or soccer has been a really cool ministry opportunity. Um, for me and Bo and Allie to be involved in and with the students as well who get to actually be on the court and be on the field. Um, but this year it'll, our, uh, my role specifically will look a little bit different. We're um, kind of stepping into a role where I get to kind of be the details guy for all of the ministry teams that we send out. So we send out a lot of students um, in the local churches, or yeah, into the, into local, work, yeah, into local churches doing um, evangelism on the street. We um, we have a one of the one of the tenets of the Bible Institute is we want every student to have multiple meaningful ministry opportunities while they're a student. So um, I get the privilege this year of being able to organize those those ministry opportunities. So we're really excited for that. Neat. Yeah, that's a new role. Is a new role uh, on. on in the Bible Institute ministry? It's not It's not a new role. Um, it's a role that we haven't had in the past couple of years. Okay. Um, and the girl that did it before um, has since gotten married and moved on um, and been called elsewhere to serve the Lord. So we, I'm kind of stepping into a old but new position. So, yeah. yeah. New to the students. Yep. Anyway, they're coming in. Yep. Um, I took a chance, uh, they, Ethan had me, uh, uh, allowed me to go across the way and to visit this all the new buildings and facilities it's phenomenal mm -hmm. but you get over there and i was talking to one of the staff members here they said they've even got the local uh, school sports teams coming in to yeah. use that facility so yep. a real open door that way too yeah um, so this will be different for you and that will stretch you as well yeah now uh, ethan you may not know we have bible teaching every morning here uh, at the pines and uh it's been our joy to sit in those the bible teaching has just been phenomenal i've only had two sessions i got to come home but i'll tell you <laughs> I, I i just i hate to leave it's been tremendous i've been doing the book of revelation this week i can hardly wait to get home and start teaching it at home which we'll be doing this uh, fall lord willing uh but we're uh, we're glad to be able to have a chance to be a little, just a little slice of uh the, uh the ministry here and uh and again they've they've had that and continued with it ethan uh He's got the camera mounted here. And you just point it. We're sitting right beside the meeting hall yeah. and the gymnasium. And uh, we have beside us a swimming pool that's yep. very active. This is just after lunch, so they haven't quite started that yet. And Ethan, why don't you just tell them what's behind us here? Yeah, so um, for those of you who have been here before, it looks a little bit different. Um, but we have all, um, this is kind of our playground. Right, right where we're sitting is our patio. And this really gets uh, packed with families as they're sitting around the fire right here. Uh, but over here is our volleyball court and um, the playground. And there's a game called Nine Square and Gaga Ball, which are all like this afternoon will just be filled with kids. It's as soon as they come on Sunday, they get right into it and they love to just be able to be involved in all the activities. Um, and then way back here is the nursery. Um, so we have, we have run children's programs all um, all morning while the parents are in the in the adult sessions as well um, and this is a new a new thing for those of you who have been here which I know are a few of you um, but I'll move out of the way right here where you can kind of see this pavilion this is uh, in place of those horrid um, white tents that we had in the picnic <laughs> grove before so um, they did keep pine needles out of your soup right right but we we uh we have a pavilion over the picnic grove now um so there's been a lot of 
a lot of excitement and new uh, Ethan, changes what, to the property. What am I looking yeah. at over here? I'm, oh, I didn't. I'm just blown away by the quality. I didn't go. Uh, I didn't go that far, but we have. Um, let's see if it'll go all the way. We have a, uh, a brand new, uh, for about five or six years old, a mini golf course um, that is really state of the art. Um, and looks beautiful. It's a, again, it's one of those activities that is just a hit um, that we get to be able to we, use. We took our grandkids. I had to take out a loan to take our grandkids a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> but that, but that, what, a, what a blessing it would be to, to be there for that. And so this is a, it's ministering to families. Yep. Families are coming here. Going. Yeah, yeah, and we, that's really um, the, our goal as a staff. You know, we, um, Word of Life has for years, you know, Jack Wurtzen, one of the founders, has always said it's the responsibility of each generation to reach their generation for Jesus. And um, one, of, one of the things that I love to be involved in here is family. You know, family is, for a lot of people, um, has different, you know, there's different thoughts about family. Some people who grew up in a family that, um, looked untraditional, you know, and we we get to serve um, and impact the lives for eternity. Um, every life that comes here to camp and um, is really one of the we. Allie and I often say that we we survive getting through the school year just to to do summer camp because <laughs> summer camp is really where um, where we feel like the Lord is keeping us and calling us, and we we're, we're both able to use our gifts as we. Uh, as we get to serve families. You mentioned that. What's Allie? Uh, Allie's got the baby. Of course, she spends yeah. a lot of time with him. But what else does she do here, Ethan? Yeah, so Allie, um, Allie gets the privilege of being a stay-at-home mom for, for most of the time. Um, and she's always wanted to do that. And the Lord has provided a way for her to be able to. And during the summertime, she kind of steps in and um, she gets to make sure that all of our money is kept track of she's kind of like our business manager um for the summertime so she uh, working at the bank she's pretty familiar with money yeah. and accounting yeah. things so uh her office is right behind you isn't it yeah in the picture here yep. yeah so we we get to um to serve alongside each other and it's been it's been really cool to see how the lord has worked through that and you can drop your little one off at the nursery yes. as well yep yeah so we get every once in a while we'll get a few hours of uh of kid free time to be able to focus on work so now there's a little music playing in the background what is that all about so we um <laughs> we didn't think of that did we no we really didn't <laughs> our team is getting set up for our family fun day which is sort of just like in carnivals and uh inflatables and all sorts of activities so um that'll get started in just a few minutes as well ethan how many years have you been working here in the minute for you you went to school yeah so we i um this is going on my, if my math is correct, it's going on my sixth year of being involved with some sort of, of the ministry. Um, and for Allie, it's going on eight years. She was uh, a student before I was, um, so she kind of started her, her course with ministry a little earlier. And she was serving over there when yep. you guys get together, right? Yep, yeah. She was on, Allie was on staff when we started. Um, okay. So that's how you get into ministry. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like Keith and Beth. You know? Yeah. You know, <laughs> they wanted Beth and they got Keith too. So kind of neat. I'm hoping to do this with Keith as well. Yeah. In uh, another month. That's, and uh, use this as an opportunity to connect us again with each other. Uh, but I know even for myself, as much as I've been familiar with the ministry, we started out here in the early 70s mm. coming here to the campground. And uh, that's a long time ago. We've had some years in between. Uh, we haven't been able to be here. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's always refreshing ministry and it is and that's the thing about it and uh, I, I wanted to take this opportunity this week to just connect us again because I think the pandemic has only served to, in, a, in a way to separate us even more I don't know yeah. have you felt that from from home in a sense you felt more distance from us yeah we we've, we've we've uh, there's been times where we have desperately wanted to find our way back home but um, to, to that point, it sort of feels like often time where we, you know, we were kind of trapped in New York State. And I know for a while with the pandemic going on, um, there was a lot of that, um, you know, separation that we that they wanted to keep. So um, it has been the, the pandemic we've seen, especially with interacting with staff um, and students and our guests uh, the, with the families that they've 
they've uh, felt lonely and felt secluded from from uh, other believers and other you know church often you know with churches having to not gather because of the spread of the pandemic um, it, it had a huge impact a negative impact on on the family life and the, we're all looking at that how we're to get together and go forward and do yeah. what God's called us to do yeah you know to the point of that this summer you kind of back to normal here you, you've been you've been to that end and have you been the Lord spared you any difficulties that way yeah we, the, the Lord has certainly um, had his hand on the ministry we um, this summer have had very few interactions with COVID which has been such a blessing we we are kind of operating like normal there's uh, very few people that wear masks and um, social distancing um, has kind of seen its day so we um we are certainly uh, blessed to be able to operate pretty normally as well so all right Ethan I'm just going to read that again because I think that verse is so appropriate Galatians 6 9 Ethan brought this verse to the table today let us not grow weary at well doing doing good for in due season we will reap if we don't give up yeah. and I was saying with him the scripture I was reading this morning uh, we need to have hope until the coming of Christ. And the hope means that we live and share the gospel of Christ as long as we're living. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we struggle with that in the pandemic. And uh, even my coming out here today, I, I just haven't been mindful that way. And his encouragement to me and, and to us, Teresa and I, uh, has been just great. We've been able to be in Shannon's little Scotty camper and... Uh, uh, that they've left out here. That's been kind of neat. I, I love camping, as you know, so that's been kind of a neat thing. But really, we have just been thoroughly pleased with what the Lord's doing here with Ethan and Allie and the ministry. We've seen some old friends. Who do you serve beside here? So, yeah, so um, my, my role is the assistant director, and um, I get to serve alongside our camp director, who is, uh, his name's John Buber. Uh, so for many of you who have heard of the name Paul and Shirley Buber, um, they have been, uh, they have been, uh, John has, has come back to work with Word of Life. He was um, overseas in the Czech Republic for about seven years, um, serving over there and starting the, the camp ministry there and um, then was, went into the secular world and served for um, years secularly with uh, medical sales and then has returned for about a year now. A um, little over a year he's been uh, involved. Yeah, permanently as well. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't had a chance to meet John. I didn't get to share about him. He knew the name, our names that is, because uh, of his, you know, his dad coming to Maine, visiting us for the weekend, then going up to visit uh, his son John here up in uh, up by Moody's Diner. Yeah. And uh, so I so enjoyed getting to meet him uh, this time too. It was, uh, and if you want to watch any of this or see these guys, uh, you could go on Facebook and just put in the search engine, uh, The Pines, uh, Word of Life, yep. and uh, and you'll see Ethan running a daily uh, uh, spiritual reboot for the campers here, what's going on for the day. And if you feel like taking some good time, you can attend the morning meetings with them as well. Yeah. So I just wanted to take that time. We're going to finish up here. Ethan's got an entire afternoon uh, of uh, Family Fun Day. They've yeah. got rock ball in here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Rock walls, all British sorts of activities. Rock walls. Oh, Maybe. It's a great fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to do that. We need to get back home. But uh, looking forward to joining with you again and being back home and getting back in God's Word, bringing it to you this weekend. Uh, Ethan, thanks for taking time to yeah. share with us. Absolutely. And hopefully this connects us a bit. We'll uh, put that out there to the church family. They can uh, kind of catch up in your testimony. Yeah. Uh, but we're just thankful for this time. Ethan, would you just close our time in prayer? Yeah. And then we'll enjoy it. Absolutely. Lord, thank you for just an opportunity to connect with church family from home. Lord, I pray that as um, as we finish out our camp season here, Lord, would you go before us, continue to provide and protect us. Lord, we're excited of the ministry opportunities that Allie and I um, get to be a part of. And Lord, I pray that you would even allow our church family back home to be a part of that um, through prayers and uh, just being able to be invested as well. So we love you. Thank you for Jesus, and it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless. See you next time. <laughs>